Here are Jean-Pierre's comments that the current turmoil is due to actions taken during the Donald Trump administration, especially with regard to accountability, the impact of past policies, the narrative of the current government. President Trump can talk policy on Thursday, which remains an open question. We'll see what kind of performer he is that night. One of the places he's undoubtedly going to go is to inflation which everybody across the country is feeling, despite all that economic data we talk about all the time that is so strong, the economy is thriving. Talk about things costing too much. He'll look into the camera maybe and say, you know that your cereal costs too much. He'll go down the list yeah. of groceries and, and gas. How will the president address that criticism? So here's the thing. This is something that we've been talking about for some time, right? The economy. And you're right. The data shows that the economy is indeed strengthening. It's stronger. And we understand that we came out of a pandemic a pandemic, a once in a century pandemic. And the work that this president did with from the American Rescue Plan to the bipartisan infrastructure, infrastructure legislation to the Inflation Reduction Act, all of these historic pieces of legislation has helped this country get back on its feet. So yes, you know, eggs and milk and there were grocery things that were up. It has gone down. It has gone down since 2022. Gas prices, because of the actions that this president took, and let's not forget there was an in invasion that Russia did into it did obviously into Ukraine that caused gas prices to, to to tick up. The president took action, tapped the SBR, and we saw gas prices go down. The president has met the moment with every issue that we have had in front of us. The president obviously talked about that often. He's going to have another opportunity in, on Thursday to speak to those issues. And look, talking about Donald Trump, which I just mentioned, adopt decision. The reason why we have chaos right now after the Dobbs decision, the reason why after Roe v. Wade was overturned, overturned after it being constitutional law for 50 years, is because of what Donald Trump did in uh, in his administration. And now IVF is on the line. Contraception is on the line. We have, I was thinking about when I was sitting here before starting this conversation, there's some of us who have young children. Can you believe that we have more rights? We had more rights growing up than our kids, than our kids. That's because of the Trump administration and what they were able to do. So there's a lot, there's a lot here. There's a big contrast in what we're trying to do on behalf of the American people, majority of Americans, what they want to see and what we see congressional Republicans, extreme Republicans. The tendency to blame previous administrations for current problems is evident. People are likely skeptical of these narratives, feeling that they are attempts to dodge the responsibility of the current government. Instead of pointing fingers at predecessors, it is crucial to embrace ownership of ongoing issues and propose tangible solutions. Emphasizing individual responsibility, authenticity, and personal roles in addressing and confronting problems is vital. Jean-Pierre's remarks seem to be part of an effort to shift accountability from the current administration to others. True leadership requires showing sincerity by acknowledging the present situation and actively seeking solutions while being mindful of the past's impact. This approach significantly affects public psychology. We need to consider how constantly referencing past administration's actions fosters a sense of helplessness or avoids accountability, impacting public trust and the current government's legitimacy in tackling persistent issues like inflation and economic instability. Analyzing the public's reaction to Jean-Pierre's comments and the administration's crisis response is essential. We can examine how narratives that criticize past administrations resonate with the public and effectively divert attention from current policy shortcomings. Psychologists might critique communication strategies that damage the administration's credibility and fail to promote active leadership. Understanding how these narratives align with public sentiment and whether they distract from present policy issues is crucial 